Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Amanda Star's Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So, first of all, I hope you guys notice a little bit of an audio and camera difference. Um, I'm still kind of tweaking with things and seeing how this all works, but I definitely hope there's a little bit of a difference here for you guys. Did get a new kind of camera setup system, so be a little bit different going from here on out. Um, I filmed this video numerous times and just kind of haven't liked it. The first time I filmed it with this new camera, the audio was all janked up and it, yeah, not a good idea. Um, and then I kind of been procrastinating it and just not doing it and I just need to sit down and do it. So here is my, uh, what should have been, um, probably 2020s, um, video but I didn't come out in that time but this is the rainbow perfume vid tag um I posted a picture of this on my uh Instagram and it's actually like the most um engaged photo ever on my Instagram so far so thank you guys so much for that um but we're gonna just run through all these really quick and I'm gonna tell you guys what each perfume I used in that picture was and a little bit about each one as well so First up, we have Eris Limited Edition by Miss Paris Hilton. This is not the perfume version. This is the Eau de Parfum version. Um, this is just a repackaging of the original Eris. Just a light, crisp, airy, kind of hairspray type scent. Next one is Hidden Fantasy by Miss Britney Spears. This reminds me of Christmas. So this is very citrusy, spicy. Um, definitely reminds me of like dried spiced oranges around Christmas. Then we have The Red Lips by KKW Kylie Jenner. Um, this is a gardenia heavy scent, which I feel like a lot of Kim's, like the Kim interpretations are. Definitely a little bit more gardenia heavy. Um, then we have the um, Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy Limited Edition. This one had a lot of these paint issues where the paint comes off of the bottle. Um, basically, this smells almost identical to the original Sweet Like Candy, except for it's a little bit more hard candy, doesn't, isn't as sweet, um, and it does have a little bit of an amber dry down in there as well. Next is Princess Revolution by Vera Wang. This is another hard candy type scent. Um, very candy, candy, candy. Um, definitely like red candies, red berries is kind of what you get with this type of scent. Um, it doesn't last a super long amount of time, but it is a really nice fragrance to rock every now and again. Then we have Heat Kissed by Beyonce. This is patchouli heavy, spicy, it's dark, uh, but it does have some really nice fruits in the opening as well. Then of course we had to do some transition colors on the bottles. So we did um, Angel Usuquer. Um, I'm not sure if that's even how you pronounce it. This is the 2019 version. I would love to get the 2020 version. Um, this is Mango mixed with the original Alien DNA, or Angel DNA, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, and then We Glow by Juicy Couture. This is, um, the more slightly masculine nighttime version of We. It's very, um, citrusy and, um, kind of almost masculine, um, but still very pr pretty and feminine and kind of follows that original We. Then we have, um, is this Never Forget You? Or is this, yeah, Never Forget You. I don't know why I guess, second guess that. Um, Mariah Carey, Never Forget You. Just another one of those, like, light, sweet, candy-type scents. Um, as most of these type ones are from that collection. Just very kind of rock candy-esque. Um, another one I forgot that was technically a transition, um, was Sunset Fantasy by Miss Britney Spears. This has got, um, a milky note in it that's really nice with some really nice citruses and warmth to it. Um, it does still have a nice sweetness in it, but it does have a, like, that milky frothiness to it. Um, then we have Miami Glow by Miss JLo, and this is everyone, like, everyone knows what this smells like. This is sunscreen and, um, tanning oil and summer night at the beach, like, that's what this smells like. Um, Peach by KKW. This is literally sour peach gummy bears, gummy worms, gummy, gummy, whatever. Um, this just smells like that type of candy. Um, then we have Tempting Paradise by Miss Sophia Vergara. This is your light, airy, crisp, tropical floral. Um, it doesn't really have a coconut heavy base to it. It is kind of just, um, a tropical floral, if that makes any sense. Next, we have Juicy Couture Miami. This, or Mi Malibu, sorry. 
This is still floral, again with the kind of tropical floral, but this definitely does have a little bit more citruses in it. Um, and kind of has a little bit of that original Juicy Couture DNA in it. Then we have Tommy Girl, another one of those summery, easy, um, almost kind of shampoo-y type summery scents. Very easy, very light, nothing going to be too harsh for the summer. Then we had Batty by KKW. Also, notice how my hands are still stained from making my hair this bright neon green. Love that. Um, but Batty by KKW. The third round of these, as someone had put on my YouTube or Instagram, I don't remember what it was. The second one was very grandma florals, and that's kind of what this is. Nothing against that, and I don't mean any offense by that, but these are definitely much more mature florals than the previous candied-esque ones were from the year prior. Then we have Summer Rock by Shakira. This is Fruity Vibes. This one just has like a bergamot citrusy freshness to it. There's not really a whole lot going on to it. It is very linear. Um, I hope you guys can't hear the air conditioner just I kicked on. If it did, I'm so sorry. Um, Thai Sunset by Escada. This to me, it smells a lot like Justin Bieber's Next Girlfriend. It's very pineapple heavy, very fruity, very fruit cocktail-esque without being too, like, immature. Um, so don't think with me comparing it to a Justin Bieber fragrance that it is immature. And also notice how it was ombre, so it's transitioning into yellow. Next, we have DKNY's Nectar Love. This is Viva La Juicy done with honey um, is kind of the best way to say that. I love this scent. It's one of my favorites. I have a backup of this. It smells so sweet and so pretty without being overly, overly too sweet. Then we have By Invitation by Michael Blue and I totally broke this before I filmed this video. Um, I need a super glue it back on. Then we had Wifey, another one of those kind of um, powdery grandma florals. This one does have, a, have like a effervescentness to it in the background. Then we have Super G by the Harajuku Lovers. This is, there's something weird in this, and I don't know if it's because of how crisp they tried to make it, but it just goes a little, almost cleaning supply on me. Then we have Sunshine by Drew Barrymore's Flower Line. This is just another one of those bright, airy, um, springy type florals. It's not Marc Jacobs springy, this is a little bit more like Chanel springy almost. Um, then we have Gold Magic by Little Mix. This I've compared to a magazine before. It's got violet in it, which definitely gives it that kind of magazine-esque to it. But this is definitely a little bit different from your typical celebrity fragrance because this doesn't smell sweet at all. This is definitely a little bit more classy, a little bit more, um, crisp and fresh than on the sweet side. Then we have Marc Jacobs Honey. This one is, as I've described, what becomes honey. Um, so this does have a little bit of honey in there, but it really smells like florals, honeysuckle, um, what it would smell like if a bee was capturing honey. Next we have, if I can pick her up without dropping her head off, Miss Nicki Minaj's um, Minaj the Exotic. This is hands down my favorite scent, as you guys can see. There's an awful big dent in this. And I've numerous backup bottles. I've gone through a whole bottle of this. I love this scent. It's mango, orange squeeze, lavender, tiger lilies, cedar wood. It's an amazing scent. It lasts forever on your skin. It's super easy to wear, super inoffensive, and I have gotten so many, so many compliments on that. This is Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. This is the Sunshine Range. This one is very similar to the original Daisy Love. Um, except for it does have a little bit more brightness to it, but it's really not much different. Um, unlike most times with that Sunshine line, it does seem to get a little bit away from, or the, like, the limited edition lines, it seems like they get away from it. Um, but that one definitely is a little bit similar to the original. Next, we have Heat Seduction by, is this Heat Seduction? Did I just second guess myself? Heat Seduction, why did I second guess myself? Um, heat Seduction, Miss um, Beyonce. This one is a very um, slightly mature floral, not overly mature, um, but definitely not 
younger crowd smelling. Um, definitely a great summer and spring type scent. Definitely springy, um, but does have a little bit of warmth to it as well. Then we have Believe by Miss Britney Spears. This is her um, most masculine fragrance in my opinion. It definitely is very patchouli dominant. Completely different from most of things in her line and definitely smells very, very green. Next is Bath & Body Works Sweet Pea. This is just Sweet Pea. Um, very nostalgic, very 90s for me, kind of, I remember, like, early 2000s, late 90s, smelling that, being very reminiscent of that. Then we have another Flower Beauty one. This is the Pretty Deadly one, and this is Jasmine and Venom. And you would think with a name like Jasmine Venom, it smells like Jasmine. Yep, nope, it smells like fruit. Um, very fruity. It does, the Jasmine gives it a slight powderiness to it, but definitely a fruit bomb. Next in the green category, we have the, of course, the most iconic green bottle out there. Um, my hair's still brighter. This is the DKNY's Be Delicious. This is your crisp green apple scent. Every department store smelled like that in the early 2000s. I feel like every girl's teenage locker room smelled that way. It's definitely a very green apple. It's been duped so many times, and for good reason, it's a great scent. Next is Fancy Nights by Miss Jessica Simpson. This, to me, smells like a drunk Irishman. If this is your favorite scent, I'm so, so sorry. I do not like this. This is a very dirty, patchouli-dominant fragrance. Um, very dark, very herby, very heavy. Um, very heavy on that patchouli. Definitely, like I said, it smells like a drunk Irishman to me. Um, it smells amazing on some people. Some people can really rock it. I just am not a patchouli fan. Then we have Aura by Mugler. 100% bought this for the ad and for the bottle. First of all, this bottom part's a freaking heart. How cute is that? And the bottle is just magnificently shaped. This, I know it's supposed to be an M for Mugler, but it definitely reminds me of an M for Motorola. Um, I bought this 100% for the ad and the bottle, like I said. Um, the ad for this is amazing. And the cement, the cement, the scent is really nice. It does have a very winter greeny, um, Vicks Vapor Rub type scent to it. Um, it's very unique. It's not something I can personally pull off all too often, but I will mix this with some vanilla heavy scents and kind of get a nice unique mix out of that. Then we have another KKW fragrance. This is um, Crystal Pear and Peony. This smells like hard candy. This smells a lot like Viva La Juicy, not Viva La Juicy, sorry, VIP Private Show. Um, it's got this really nice hard candy-esque to it. Um, you do smell the peony in there, but there's a really nice pear note in there mixed well with some other really no nice notes that make it very pretty. It lasts a really long time. And when I say candy, I don't want you to think it's super sweet because it's not. It definitely just smells like opening a bag of like hard candies. Then next, and kind of one of the last green ones, is Bond Number 9's This Is I Love New York for Earth Day. And that's what this smells like. To so this is a very natural version of Daisy and that kind of esque, but definitely more green, very much more outdoorsy, natural, um, a little bit more wet. There's a lot going on to this fragrance, and obviously for so. Then we have a transition color, and this is Island Fantasy by Miss Britney Spears. The only bad thing, this doesn't last for shit. Um, it's melon and sugar. It smells amazing, but it doesn't last for shit. Um, you get maybe an hour and a half, two hours on your skin if you're lucky, and it's not super hot out. I've worn it super hot out. You have to reapply it all the time. It's annoying, but it's a great scent. Then we have Outspoken Fresh. I wasn't quite sure where to put this, so we're calling it a transition. This is a cucumber dominant type scent, but I'm not 100% sure if cucumbers even listed in this, but it does give that kind of like cucumber crispness, almost like cucumber melon but a little bit more mature a little bit more grown up moving into the blues we have miss denise richards this is a gardenia heavy beach scent it's very nice but another very gardenia heavy scent then we have jay by jennifer aniston this is a boozy beachy vanilla to me um it has bourbon vanilla in the base and that really shows throughout the whole fragrance um and it definitely does smell like being on the beach at night. You kind of get that warm sand-esque to it. Um, very nice scent. It's very, like, wrapping, and I love that about it. Then we have Royal Revolution by Katy Perry. This is a fantasy version of um, Viva La Juicy. And I mean fantasy as in, like, in another world, not in, like, fantasy. 
and hit like that. Yeah. Um, this is Viva La Juicy, but done with some mystical notes. Like, there's Blackthorn in here. Um, there's a leather note in here. It definitely is very similar, but a little bit more edgy. Um, this is like Viva La Juicy Noir Noir. Um, then we have Angel Fruity Fair, the bluest of all blue angel bottles. This bottle is magnificently blue. Um, and this is... The Angel DNA mixed with apple pie and whipped cream. It's a really, really nice mix of that. Um, and my biggest issue, obviously, with the alien or angel sense, and I literally was just thinking, don't call it alien, don't call it alien. And that's why I called it alien. Anyway, the, my biggest issue with the angel sense is the patchouli in them. Um, I do really like a lot of the, like, the flankers and the interpretations of them, but the patchouli kind of ruins it for me on some of them. Next blue one, we have Kiss by Miss Rihanna. I love this scent. It's very white florals plum musk it is beautiful it's crisp it's clean it's pretty um and soft i love that about that then we have guest 1981 indigo this is a slightly aquatic fresh it very much gives you the sense of being in water um and maybe like beach water or like summer water versus like a pool or something like that it definitely gives like a little bit more of a natural like earthy water scent to it then we have um capri by vince camuto this is a very springy floral very cloud like it's not like cloud like ariana grande cloud i love how i had to make these references but um it's very cloud, very soft, very pretty, very spring day, flowers blooming, rain just fell yesterday, the flowers are nourishing from it. That's what you get from this. Um, next is the final blue one, and it is Justin Bieber's Someday Summer. Not gonna lie, this smells like full floaties. Um, I've sprayed this on me and tried to wear it numerous times. Every single time it smells like pool floaties to me. It literally just smells like you open up a new pool floaty and you're unraveling all the plastic and the vinyl and whatever and you're going to blow it up and that's what it smells like. Just can't do it. Into the purples we have um, Pop Electric Music from Harajuku Lovers. This is a actual hard candy scent. They made this to smell like lollipops and candy and stuff like that. Then we have Daisy Dream Twinkle. It smells nothing like the original daisy dream this is very pretty very spring-like very soft and floral um as most of the daisies are but this one's a little bit more purple if that makes sense i don't really know a better way to describe that one much more than it smells purple then we have la glow by jennifer lopez this is a girl in her 20s going out to the club it's very bright it's very girly it's very fun um but she's not a fantasy girl she's an la glow girl because this is so 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 good um it's just something about it it's not hard candy or it's not like cupcakes and lollipops and candy but it still has that sweetness to it then we have katie perry's mad potion this smells like bath and body works vanilla bean noir or body fantasies vanilla this has that just kind of um not generic, but generic vanilla scent, but it does last a really, really long time. Um, and it's one of the first perfumes I've seen in that version. Um, and you can get it for super, 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 super cheap. Then we have Rock the Night by Shakira. I love this. This is white florals with coffee cream. It's basically Shakira's version of uh, Black Opium, but a lot lighter, a lot prettier, a lot softer. Then we have Teas by Paris Hilton. This is a grapey gardenia scent. Um, it's supposed to be paying homage to um, Marilyn Monroe and like that type of whole era, um, but very grapey, white floral gardenia type scent. Then we have Ed Hardy's Skulls and Roses, the limited edition purple one. This I believe is the same thing. Um, it's a strawberry and white floral scent. Ooh, I just knocked over a bottle. Then we have Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez, this is pineapple chocolate. It's so good. It's it. People have compared it to Love Spell from um, Victoria's Secret. But to me, I just love that scent. Uh, or not Love Spell, Pure Seduction, sorry. And then Outspoken Party by Fergie. Um, this is kind of like Burberry Weekend, but it does... It's a little bit more loud, a little bit more... Not as refined, not as soft... Like, it has that soft edge to it, but it's still edgy, if that makes sense. 
So there you guys go. There is the rainbow perfume video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys noticed a little bit of a difference with the camera. And I hope, like, we'll see what happens. I'm sorry that this video took so long for me to get out. Um, just kind of been procrastinating. Life is life. So, but here it is for you guys now. And I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.